Aw, oh, come on, don't look at me like that. You think I knew the whole place would burn down? No. If I'd known, I wouldn't have done it. Accidents happen. And what's wrong with that? Besides all that, I know you found it kind of hot, didn't you? No pun intended, just those eyes fixated on me. The way that you always look with those eyes, as if you're wanting something. I can't quite place that, but that feeling, that silky little feeling, when your hands reach for me, and you find my gnarled skin, and you don't really do anything at all, you just hold my face and look at me. <laughs> what? Didn't think I'd think it was strange, did you? You must have because you've got a brain. But even then, even with all of that, I can't deny it. I like those times, baby. Hmm. You too, huh? <laughs> oh, that's how you feel. Well then, what about when I grab you and I pick you up? Your face dangle from the ground cause I can lift you so high. You like that too, or maybe when I burn, set the world to fire just for you thinking about all those times. I wanna make that spark in your heart fly. Even then, sometimes fire can burn you, sometimes it can get on your nerves, sometimes it hurts. Trust me from the guy whose tears burn him. But even then, I've learned that that's only half the story. Pain is something everybody faces, and if I were to start complaining about it, I'd be fucked up. <laughs> Don't give me that. I know how you feel about the subject, and I know you care a lot. But I care about you just as much, so don't put some kind of high horse on my position, no. That wouldn't be fair, just as it wouldn't be right. You keep going with that attitude, and I'll shut you up right here. Respectfully, of course. Not because I don't like what you're saying, but because I know right now you're speaking from a place of jealousy and I know what that's like. I know why you're there. I know why you feel it. But babe, you have to understand, if I had time to waste with others, do you think I'd always be by your side, wasting time hanging with you? I barely hang with my friends in the L.O.V. anymore. Right now, it's just you and me. Partners in crime, burning the world down to cinders, and seeing what revenge doesn't feel like anymore. Yeah, it was a shitty reason to start all this, but honestly, how could I stop? How could I stop halfway? I had to follow through, and I did. I wiped that family name off the face of the planet, and you watched it burn with me. <laughs> I like that look. Yeah, it tells me a lot. Even before your words said it, I knew what you meant. Hmm? <laughs> I love you in a twisted kind of way, babe. And I know, yeah. You feel the same way as that. <laughs> Sometimes even I love to hear it. I fucking love to hear every time you get to say it to me. <sighs> it makes me feel where most things don't. It makes that numbness go to an unfamiliar place. And I just feel so 
empty-headed. And you can't be the only one jealous here, no. Think about all the times that we're out together. I'm not the only one getting those looks. And I bet half of those are at least from people looking for my bounty trying to cash in. For you, it's different. They don't know your face like that. You're not pasted all over the LOV. You're the opposite of me, babe. You're big time, but you keep a low profile. And I fucking love that shit. I love the way you do that. The way every time you make a scene, you leave that touch of your own signature on the place. That's why I like to paint the town red with you, babe. That's why we got this Bonnie and Clyde thing going on. That's what I live for. I see it every day. We could waste our time like any other two-bit thieves, villains among a world that doesn't ever fucking accept us. Or we could be two lovers chasing after dreams that everybody thinks is dead. Everyone thinks love is dead, God is dead, and everything else. But it's not true. It doesn't have to be anyways. And I want to believe in something. Not some deity, but our love. I want to kiss you, so I will. We anarchy on my lips with a bittersweet twist of your tongue against me. I love that salty, sweet taste lust on your lips and begging for more. Because I feel the same way. I need it just as bad. If I can't feel your breath on my neck and I can't taste that slight hint of salt, whenever I get the upper hand, then it's not worth the victory. It's not worth the rush. It's not worth you. I need a lot. I don't care, though. Neediness or not, that's fine with me. Jealousy or not, that's fine. That just boils down to two animals helplessly and hopelessly attracted to each other like a bad rock song. Something grungy, something brutal. And that's what our lives are right now. Living in a stingy apartment, but I don't fucking care. And I'd rather be here than in a castle. Unlike most of the world that wants something else, I just want more and more and get obsessed with it. I want you. That's right. I want these lips against me. I want this body hot as fire. Cool as ice. that singular obsession to the point where you can't live without me you can't breathe without me you can't think without me that's the kind of obsessed i am with you and when i spoon you when i hold you when i cuddle when i spoil all of that goes to the same end you know hmm yeah Yes, we are pretty similar. Two peas in a pod getting roasted in hell's fire. But even then, it's not like that. It's never quite like that, is it? It's always something sultry, something spicy, something a little bit more needy, wanting. almost a sick obsession. You feel that, don't you? It's the heat of body against body, the sensual clash of feelings and passion.
passion touch meets imagination and there we are a poem in human form going at it like we're animals taking bites of flesh and kisses of lips and maybe biting lips all the same the same way you might do things with no one else what can I say, baby? I do it better, and nobody has a say in that. Nobody gets a chance to. They try, and they fail, and they try again. No, <laughs> that's rich. Saying villainy doesn't pay at this point, babe. Is that what you're implying? No. Then what do you mean? Oh, you mean literally, I... <laughs> a clever way of putting it. You've got a way with words, baby. A way with words that makes that fire start and it burns my lungs up like the cigarettes we smoke. <sighs> Honestly, should probably fucking quit for both of us. But right now, those vices got that vice grip around me. Like your arms when you claw my back. Like your legs when they shake after I kiss you. Like your body and mine. Two of a kind in a world that would never accept us for who we are. Which is pretty messed up when you think about it. We're not even the worst of the bunch. The rotten apples are worse than us by a thousand times. And it makes me jealous of those people that got it good. But at the same time, I pity them because nobody has a relationship like us. Nobody is as close that we could love and kill in the same sentence and be laughing two minutes later. No one could kiss. It means so many mixed emotions, so many storied tales of tragedy, romance, comedy, all things mixed up into one. If we were nominated for a award, baby, it'd be all of them at once and we'd just fall short by one damn vote every single time from being that number one spot is what I think would happen. You think that we'd win? <laughs> I like that confidence, but it's always that one fucking thing that holds us back. Not because we want it to, but because we need it to. If we didn't hold back, there'd be nothing left. We'd burn to ashes, both of us. Whether in our lungs or our hearts, we'd burn out like lights. Shining bright like a supernova and then disappearing into space. Hmm, it's different, ain't it? <laughs> We're like a pair of traveling bandmates, really. You and I going at it. If we weren't together, we wouldn't be at all. That's the kind of bond that I strive for. That mildly toxic, totally unrealistic, and absolutely over-the-top relationship that goes and burns in a fiery pit of hell, but then rises to heaven when it's all said and done, because your kiss might as well take me there every time. I love it, and I love you. And I think I mean it more earnestly than any of those others out there. Those pretenders who think they're better than us. Those people who look down on our music or love or anything in between. They think we're outcasts and they think they're going to outlast us. But I don't believe it for a second. For all my vices, for all my love, for all the things I get wrong on purpose. I think we're a poem that ain't gonna stop and it's gonna spite them and it's gonna piss them off and I love that and it just makes you more sexy, baby because you're the poem that keeps on writing you're that spiteful royal living in the slums that keeps on going even if they wish we would disappear that we didn't exist or something like that I'd love to see anyone try and stop us. 
anyone trying to be more true than the truest words that blurt out of our mouths every day. Our life is the truth, wouldn't you say? Too poetic, huh? Yeah, I was thinking that too. And that was almost unrealistic how things went, but I do mean every word. And I mean every kiss too. And I don't want anyone, not a single soul, to look at you without feeling so jealous that they're not me. Or maybe the other way around. That's the kind of relationship we lead. It's not about them at the end of the day, no. It's about you and me, baby. Going out in a blaze of glory. I love that way you look at me. It makes me feel like the rock star we're trying to be. Success we never saw but never needed. All at once in that kind gaze. But there's something more to it, ain't there? Need in it. I love that too. And I wanna see more. I don't just wanna play on the biggest stage with these tats and dreams. I wanna play with you more than any of that. Even if it was some backyard job that doesn't pay shit. Money ain't my goal, you are, baby. Yeah, my goals since day one. I've learned this life ain't too forgiven, but I figure we'll burn out before our lungs get out, right? We'll kiss a million times and then fade into the sky as legends. We'll make it seem a little bit more than what it actually is. Make some situations so magnanimous that we get our names in light at the very end. I'll be honest with you, baby, I don't want to grow old. Not at all. Not with you, not with anyone. I want to grow and then blow up like an explosion, like a firework. And I want to burn out in those flames. I want to make that flame in your heart. And then I want to take you for the rest of the time we got short, beautiful lives on the planet, but even then, maybe I'll change my mind, I never know. With you, you kind of make me want to consider living longer, living more boring, some kind of fucking life that some old folks in the country would, but fuck that. I could never settle down to that extent, baby. I'm afraid you got the wrong stallion at that point because I want a wild ride in this life and I don't want to give that ride to anyone but you. Not a single soul deserves it but you. So what do you say? You want to get on this bucking bronco of a man and give it a try? You do get that chance, you know? We happen to have a very special policy here of try before you decide something like that, honey. And I kind of want to see where that goes. How you try me. <laughs> you always did try me from the start, you know. Those little things you do. Those little things that turn into big things. That turn into bigger things. That define me. That inspire me. And that make me want more kisses. And to hold you a special kind of way. Guess what I'm trying to say is I don't want to let it be too quick or too slow, but nitpicky. I've lost myself in your gaze so many times, and I realized why. Because you're the only eyes that look just at me. Everyone else sees something I'm not, and that's the double-edged thing of fame. You only get one person or a small bit of them that really get you. And you get me in ways that nobody does. And I fucking love that. So let me spoil you and get your try on. Take me on any way you want. Challenge me. 
do your worst or best. I want to see it all, and I can't wait, honestly. I want to feel it in my bloodstream pumping. I want to taste it in my senses even more than I could before. I want to get drunk on this love until we go out and find something even more amazing. Not just adrenaline junkies, but life junkies. I want to do that with you and you alone, babe. What do you say? I want to take my hand for more. You are more than just a kiss. More than just a hold. Something that you deserve and you alone. I love it. That answer with lips is so much more satisfying. And your action through that makes me just a little bit more inspired than I was a minute ago. Let me show you that inspiration a little closer, baby. <laughs> I don't care if it's on the desk, in the chair, wherever the fuck you can imagine. What I care about is you and those glistening eyes and that oh so wonderful body. I know you probably can guess where my mind is, where it's going and what I'm thinking. Probably written all over my face, but I don't care. And besides, Yours is sure written all over your face. The feeling, that tension, that passion. Like a strung up spring ready to burst forth and jump into the sky. I want to take some of that tension and stew from you, baby. I want to taste it on my tongue. Every single region of taste. I don't just want the sour or sweet. I want that savory deep flavor of love that makes you punch drunk right then. <laughs> That's it, baby. <laughs> That's the kind of love I was talking about. Making me tear up a little, you know? <sighs> it's every time with you, is Every time you touch me like this, every time you lose your mind with me, we go a little further than last time. Like that slippery slope we wound you up with way back when I told you, don't go down or you'll never come up right. Well, I want to drag you down, kicking and screaming, and do it along with you. I want to bask in that moment. Every kiss, every lick, every touch in the right place, everything perfectly timed and without hesitation. So trust me, this, this isn't abrupt, this is ordained at this point. Relax. Have I ever hurt you, done you wrong, or taken advantage of you? No, didn't think so. If you trust me, then hang on, because it's going to be a bit bumpy for a while. This kind of cuddles, this kind of touch isn't something for anyone. This is all for you, baby. Just... Let me hold you, let me love you, let me give you everything I can in the best and worst way. Like I've been saying from the start, you complete me like another half of this insane little bundle. And I want to be that man to you. I want to feel alive with you. I just don't want it to be misconstrued as me being some kind of shrewd man that doesn't make you feel and feel loved, feel special and feel so, so good. I know how it 
this baby and this shot too. I love you. I need this just as much as you. I need to feel what it's like to hold you in my arms, to tell you how much you mean to me, to be the one man that makes the difference in your life, that really changes things for the better. God knows. You've had a shit fucking hand just like me. And I relate to it. And I love and hate the fact that we can relate. Because it drives me wild like this, baby. But that's exactly why I can't let you go. That's exactly why I love you so fucking much. Because you, you're worth that. You're worth every little moment. I need you, baby. So much. And I can't ever let go. I won't ever let go. And I just need more. I'm greedy, what did you expect? Don't go underestimating me, you'll regret it, baby. Trust me on that. And besides, you actually think that was it? Nah, baby. I gotta hold you and make you feel just a bit more special. <laughs>